Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and this is a channel update. I, um, you know, I have had a busy month. I've been doing a lot of playthroughs. I've been working on improving the quality of my channel. Um, slowly but surely kind of getting up there. Um, first, I would like to thank every new subscriber I've gotten the last month. I had set a goal early this month or late last month where I would like to, I, would, I tried to double the number of subscribers I had by the end of the month. And I've just about reached that goal. May fall a few short. I may get in a couple subscribers at the beginning of the next month and, and, and tip it over. But all in all, I'm really satisfied and really pleased with the amount of growth that my channel's been doing. Again, I can't do it alone. I can't do it without uh, without the active participation of my uh, of my watchers. So, you know, thank you all for all the likes, for all the feedback on the videos, and for your subscription. Really appreciate it. I'm going to continue to go forward with uh, what decent content I can and um, and move forward from there. Now, I had some non-Let's Play things planned um, as, of last, as of last update. One of them was supposed to be a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition campaign. Where I am with that, I had all of my graphics set up, I had my storyline set up, I had my um, adventures written, and I had six people who were interested and I thought surely I can go ahead and get a um, a full group out of those six people and it turns out I couldn't because their schedules didn't match up so what I did was after trying and trying and trying to find a fourth person you know I, I had three people three and three people and three people with totally incompatible schedules tried to get that fourth person and failed so I said finally well, I'll go ahead and cut back all the all the you know all the details and, and redo all the art for three people and then by the time I decided to do that I had lost the third person so now I'm looking at a group of two and a group of two and both of them have incompatible schedules as soon as all the logistics work out I am going forward with some sort of Dungeons and Dragons campaign it may not be the Venomwood one, it may be something else, maybe something Ravenloft inspired. I mean, you know, the Venomwood one had elements of that. But I'm thinking I would really like to run something that's Ravenloft inspired. Um, what else? I've got, um, you know, some reviews of some old Dungeons and Dragons books. I haven't posted them yet because I'm unhappy with how they came out. I'm probably going to go ahead and try to do a little bit more of a professional job with them. Uh, and you can see something like that coming up soon. Um, so I've been basically getting lots of Let's Plays up. Now I've got three games going in terms of the Let's Plays right now. Uh, one is Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, which is going to be going for a little while. I've still got, you know, about maybe half the game, I think. Roughly half the game. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Uh, depending on how I do the expansions. Um, then I've got Morrowind, which I just started. And Morrowind's basically going to take the place of the Daggerfall one, and, and I'm going to do it on and off as I get time. I've got a couple episodes recorded on it. It's going to be good, but it's going to take a lot longer than the Daggerfall one, simply because I'm going to do it more... I'm going to cut less out, because there's going to be less sprawling dungeon crawls with Morrowind. Most of the dungeons in Morrowind are, are relatively compact, and the world itself is more interesting. So instead of wandering around for like four hours and then editing it down to like a two hour video or a one hour video, um, I can probably get away with, with cutting it in like half hour segments. The other one that I hadn't mentioned is Pillars of Eternity. Now that one took me by surprise because I had completely not realized it was coming out this month. And, and so it hit me by surprise. I went ahead and got it. I still am not sure with the with the, with the status on it. Developers say they'd love to see Let's Plays, so I'm going from that. Um, I have put up a live stream where I just wanted to get a hold, a hold of the game, game and a hang of uh, the various uh, procedures in it. Um, it ends badly. I've got the first episode of that up now. I've got a second episode that I'll put up. But that is not going to be my, my main Pillars of Eternity playthrough. I'm going to start another one of those shortly with a more in-depth character and not go the whole hardcore uh, the, the Iron Man route. I'm going to do probably hard difficulty and then just non-expert, just try to enjoy the game for what it is. 
and I'll probably be putting episodes of that up starting in the middle of uh, this upcoming week, uh, so you can look forward to that. I have a couple more projects planned, and they're non-Let's Play. Um, I want to see how they go, because I'm, I'm noticing a, a, a very... A, it's, I have a couple more projects planned, and I'm going to see how they go. Um, if you'd like to see more non-Let's Play content, let me know. Uh, I do try to take a lot of the feedback into account, but I'm not getting a whole lot of it in, in some instances, so I'm kind of guessing it in, in going forward with I can. Um, but overall, you know, we got a we got a busy month planned ahead. We got three long games to go ahead and do let's uh, let's play though. Uh, Baldur's Gate, I'll concentrate on that until I get uh, towards the end of it, and then interspersed. Pillars of Eternity and Morrowind in the second slot. And then, um, after Baldur's Gate done, I'll probably shift Pillars of Eternity to the main slot, and then do Morrowind and another one in the off slot, on and off as I, as I have a chance. If you haven't taken a look, uh, sometimes I do uh, shorter games, um, like I did Hello Hello a while back, if you haven't seen uh, that. And if you like those RPG Maker horror games, then uh, you can go ahead and take a look at that. Um, I, I admit I'm not the kind that, like, sits there and freaks out about stuff. Uh, jump scares do get me, but, uh, that's about it. Uh, but I enjoy a good creepy horror game. Uh, I just, uh, I'm not gonna do the whole full-on horror games. I'm gonna be, if I do any, they'll be the RPG maker. Or other role-playing games with a horror element. I would love to see a genuinely scary role-playing game. Uh, like... Primarily role-playing, but with horror elements. Uh, if anybody knows any of those that uh, would be good, let me know in the comments, and I'll see about uh, what I can do to play with them. Play them. Now, I have been doing uh, the occasional live stream. Um, I'm going to try to do a few more live streams for those of you who watch Twitch.tv. Um, you can follow me there on Twitch.tv slash RPG Crawler. Um, I'm going to try and... can't guarantee one every weekend, but I'll, I'll try. I'll try to do something every weekend. Um, it's a, the, the attempt is all I can guarantee. So, with that having been said, uh, thanks again, all my viewers. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. I'll give you another update in a month, unless you'd like to see me uh, do these vlogs a little bit more often. So this has been the RPG Crawler. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for role-playing games. Take care, and goodbye.